So I'd like to say that's my career, but my wife would definitely not approve. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about online dating as a model for business. Uh, my day job is I'm a venture capitalist with FF Venture Capital. We've made over 200 investments in over 70 companies since 99, including four Israeli companies. Did I put it Thank you. 50% uh, of which, yeah. Great. 50% of which have exited, which is well above the norm for the tech world. Uh, so Quigo, which is acquired by AOL, and Omec, acquired by Intel, and a number of others. Uh, I was I lived in Israel for three years. I was CEO of a startup company there, spent some time in Yeshiva. And I moved back to, to the US in 2001. And I was single, like 70% of my half. And I went on to a lot of online dating sites, about 30 actually, Jewish dating sites. And six months later, I met a young lady. Nine months later, we were married. And I thought, any technology that can find me a wife is a killer app. In dating, most of us want one partner and then we're done. But in business, we want lots of partners, lots of investors, lots of investments. And I started researching businesses you could create that were around the, the idea of making relationships more efficient. Because so much of business comes down to that process of finding the right client, or finding the right investor. And I developed a, a formula to articulate the different components of that network. So the mathematically not inclined can just ignore the bottom quarter of the page. But I'm briefly going to go through the seven components of your sourcing network, where you're going to get your clients, or your next job, or your next date, and talk about how online dating is a model for business. Historically, the relationship space is often a leader in technology. So for example, the adult entertainment space is a leader in use of streaming technology, and now that's gone mainstream. And there are a lot of other areas where you see people adopting new technologies more quickly in the dating area, more quickly than in business, because the friction is lower. So first component is your character. And in the dating space, an example would be Sign, one of the many dating sites you're registered on which is a dating site where you are vouched for as a credible person by a certified matchmaker, right, in order to make it a more trust-promoting experience. I think that's a logical model. In the business space, the equivalent of that might be a service like Cloud, in which we led the seed investment, which ranks your social media impact, how influential you are, how respected you are in your domain, so you can assess whom you want to hire or work with, whatever industry you're in. Next component is the competence. Are you connecting with competent people in the domain in which you're working? So in dating space, one of the areas that some people would value is money, right? So wealthymen.com will get you people with money and with a verified income, right? Because that is one of the measures of competence for some people. I'm not endorsing it, I'm just reporting. So in the business space, another measure of competence, for example, in photography would be, do you make good photographs? So we're an investor in 500px, which is a marketplace for beautiful photos. And it makes it more efficient for photographers to get work, whether that's to shoot new work or to sell their old photos. So it's a matching mechanism in which you connect with the most competent people. Next component is your relevance. Who's relevant for your search process for finding the next client? So let's say your goal is a short-term relationship. So this is down, so you can find people who are down for the night. And that's a very, very successful, well-designed dating app. I see some people laughing. I don't know if anyone's going to admit they're a client. But this is a super successful product, which people are using to find people who share their um, desired duration of romantic relationship. So an analogy in the business space would be a service like MoveLine, uh, which we're a seed investor in, which helps you connect with the right moving company and monitors them to make sure that they do what they said they would do and they don't surprise you with extra charges. I hear that a lot of Israelis in the movie days. So the next component is the strength of your relationship. You're out there selling. How do you build stronger ties with the people to whom you're selling? So in the dating space, we're an investor in How About We, a Brooklyn startup. And How About We started as a conventional dating site, and then they realized there was a much bigger market in promoting strength of relationships. So they created a dating site for couples, which is not what you think it is. It's a service that prearranges 30 or so dates per month, doing all sorts of exciting things, so that that takes the burden off you to organize new events for you to do with your partner. So the business equivalent is a service like Move Link, another New York startup, which makes emails interactive as a website. 
We're all used to going to a website, seeing that the technology refreshes, right? This does it in the email, so that every time you look at the email from RecoShack, you see updated specials from that, right? In a way that historically you could only do on the web, not in a static HTML email. Next component is information, what information you have about people in your network. And let's say, I'm sure no one here will admit this, but let's say you have an STD, right? So you go to positive singles, right? And you find people at the STD of your particular chips, right? That's a legitimate market. Some people are looking for that. So in the business space, the equivalent would be a service like Locality, another uh, company we invested in, which pulls out pricing data from a wide range of services. You type in barber in your zip code, it tells you what barbers are in your local zip code and what the prices are, so you can 